What's up guys? Welcome to another episode on our YouTube channel. Today we are doing a little bit of taxidermy work. We're in my dad's taxidermy shop and we're going to be working on this buck right there. That's my big Colorado buck from 2018. 115, 120, hold right on him. Hurry. Oh my gosh. That's unbelievable. I guess sometimes it just happens fast. We're gonna vlog this and show you guys the process. This is actually something I grew up doing. My dad's been a taxidermist my whole life. Nicole is shaving the cape and getting that ready for this mount, but just gonna show you around a little bit. All of these top rows, top two rows are Nicole's dad's bucks. So pretty dang impressive, but we're actually, I'm gonna go show you some more animals that we have here. All right, so heading up the stairs, there's Nicole's big old giant bull from New Mexico. I can see an extra hanging out. Yeah, that's him. Hammered him, hammered him! Yeah, he dropped, babe. Oh. Dude, that beam is so long. If you haven't, go check out the video. We had the full video of this hunt on our channel. Turned out pretty sweet, pretty awesome hunt, but. Just some storage here of a bunch of big deer that still need to be done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Lots of giant bucks and bulls in here. So if you like that kind of thing, this is your place. We've already attached his antlers to this form. Got him yep. ready Got to go. On, put the paper mache on the head. Got the leather on, thanks to your dad. Then next we gotta do all the detail work. Nicole's shaving the cape and putting in the ears. And then what else? We gotta build the face up with clay and all the detail that we want, put the eyes in, all that good stuff throw it on and sew it up, but sounds a lot easier than it is. All right, we're back. We had to take a little bit of a break last time. Couldn't get it done, so we're back. It's a Monday, just opened up the shop. It's cold in here, so we're gonna start up a fire and get going and see if we can get this buck done today. All right, so we're just getting these ear lines ready, ear liners ready to put in Nicole's cape. So these are just the perfect shape of ear. We had to do a little bit of trimming on the other ear, but we're prepping this so the glue will stick to it properly. And that's the next step. That keeps the shape of the ear and replaces the cartilage. You have to put this rod into that deer's brisket. Got this big old drill bit. We're gonna make a hole in there, fill it with Bondo. Boom, let's get it. Is it centered? Is it on the center line of the brisket? Yep. Okay, <laughs> this looks strange. Yep. Are you sure? It doesn't matter, okay, it levels look out. itself. Look out. Are you sure? Yeah, send it. That's good. Go for it. 
Let's go for it. Probably could put more in there. Hold on, can you like scrape that stuff from the top out? Oh, don't lose Whole that mess. thing. Maybe like pull that all the way out and then. Do you need to fill the hole up with more? Well, I'd say that's pretty close. We need to do just a little bit of clay work on it. We do the eyes and the nose and everything because they're a little off from the factory. Yeah. So are you ready for the cave? Yeah, what let's see need? what these lips look like. Like it's got a really big face on it either. It's pretty close right there. I was thinking just looking at it. It doesn't look like you're going to want to build it too much. I usually don't like them built too much anyways. But the only thing you need to kind of decide on this is there's some people like to see a little more of this muscle and some don't. I don't. And if you much. don't leave it like that. I don't like this cape much. is just a little bit hairier than an archery cape so you're probably not even going to be able to see this very good. Mm -hmm. Which is probably okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think the detail you want is you want to have that one and maybe those and then this stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's probably about all you need to worry about. Yeah. Are you ready to make this happen? Yep. Okay, get in this bucket right here with the orange top and get two balls of clay for the years and it's Lift it up. And you're probably gonna want it like that. So it's on the front, right? Because um, we can adjust it when we you're probably let's get it where you want it and then let's slide it off and we'll just tighten it all okay, up. We'll get it close. Can you just bend it where you want it and then we'll uh, it's kind of tight now. What does that look um, all right? Does it look like sure, that'll that's close. I can't see it. It's there. It's like stabbing in the dark. Can you just tip it that way where it wants to go and leave it over there? We could probably leave it right there and it'd stay like that. We just got it put on the pedestal. The mount's almost done and it's looking awesome. We're on the home stretch now. We'll come back in a week and paint it, build up the build up the habitat on the base and get everything touched up and we'll be ready to bring him home. So it's pretty awesome watching them come to life. And it's been a fun day hanging out with my dad and Skylar. 
All right, guys, it's been a while, but as you've seen, we got the deer to this point, and today we're going to be working on the habitat. So right here on all this unfinished base, we're going to be putting dirt and rocks and these little habitat pieces. We have some willows and stuff like that. So we're going to basically try to replicate where he came from or close to get a nice, nice look on that. So that's what we're doing today. We've got this willow patch right here, that little jack pine. And the reason we're doing this is because when we actually shot him, he was in a little patch of jack pines and willows. So we're just trying to preserve that memory as accurately as possible. So we've got these great looking willows online and then that little pine tree, that little jack pine. And uh, yeah, we're happy with how it's coming along. Right. Then we're gonna paper mache this, add the dirt, and it'll be done. So I'm pretty pumped. All right guys, we got all the dirt on and pressed into the mache. So once this dries, we'll touch up any spots that we missed. We'll sweep off these rocks so you can see them much better, but we are basically done. A lot more work to do though, a lot more taxidermy. If you guys like these kind of videos, uh, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you guys want to see next from us. And we're looking for ideas of stuff to do the rest of the spring and summer. So, yeah, hit us up in the comments and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. On to the next one. I'll show you what we're going to mount in the next video. set of replicas for my dad's big old 260 buck. <laughs>